old were you when you got into modelling? Um, I was a late bloomer. Right. 21. Oh God, you were over yeah. the hill. I know, well, because I, I went the non-traditional route. I actually went and got an education. I did three years at university, at, um, up at Griffith University in Brisbane doing graphic right. design. And I'd done a year of study in Melbourne at a TAFE college as well. But I'd always wanted to get into that. There'd, there'd always been that desire to do it. And really it came out of, I needed to pay for materials, needed to pay for the school fees. So it was the job that I did to earn some income on the side, right. doing little kind of like nightclub fashion parades and yeah, right. shopping mall and food court fashion parades, <laughs> all that really glamorous <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but they were, back then it was paying like $80 a show, which was huge. Yeah, right. Um, and would really, that paid for my food and stuff. And those sorts of things become became more and more available to me and I was enjoying it. And then bigger clients were saying, well, we'd love you to do these shows. Do you want to travel? and so it just kind of, and I got a taste for the money and there was the potential to travel and to come totally. to Sydney and then. And what is the reality of the modelling world? Is it we, you know, I look at it and go, oh, how glamorous. You get to travel to these exotic beaches. And That's a reality. Yeah. That is a reality. All of those things that people say, oh, you're so lucky you get to do. Yeah, you get to, I, the places that I've travelled to in my life still, still take my breath away. Jobs, yeah. random jobs, you know, anything from, shooting beautiful editorials in Morocco in the desert or like I got to shoot a, um, a Bacardi campaign in Puerto Rico right where they, they mm. taught me how to like I got taken into this we we're in this beautiful um, kind of abandoned building in, in Puerto Rico and someone they sent this young man in who taught me how to dance for an hour and then we filmed this incredible commercial where they played live music and then we spent the week there and just there's just stuff. I you know, wow. worked with Valentino at Villa Desto, you know, Lake Como, just random kind of places that I would never have access to yeah, right. in my life that are that you got go you were paid to go and do it too. Because a lot of modelling careers, they say, are nearly over at 21. And you started at 21. Well, this is a thing, and it's been that people told me from the very beginning, well, this is think of this You're as a, bit a short. Old. This is a short-term career, and the fact that you didn't start when you were fourteen it means it's kind of already over before it's begun. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I was ever unrealistic. Yeah. I, right. I, I think that I was very clear on what what I would get out of it. There was I knew that it, there was a financial reward involved. Yeah. I knew that there was for me creatively there was some some really great opportunities to work with some of the creative teams that work in, in terms of stylists and and fashion directors and. <clears throat> Um, photographers and things like that that's that's really nourishing on lots of levels and it just depends on whether or not you want to be the 14 year old girl that's in an editorial which I'd, I'd already passed that yeah um, or whether that for me it was more commercial work I got to do a couple of seasons over in Europe doing catwalk stuff which is great but yeah. I wasn't really cut out for that I didn't have the physicality or the or the age for that right. um, but commercially there was huge opportunity for me to yeah, you know, and I was a catalogue queen. You know, I was yeah. doing all the bad poses <laughs> and the worst gear over in Germany, but great money. Totally. Um, and maybe a blessing in a lot of ways that it did happen a bit later for you, because I think, you know, young girls getting thrust into the spotlight like that and having so much emphasis on your looks and your body mm. can be really dangerous too. Definitely. It can still be dangerous at, 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 when you enter it at 21 or even yeah. if I started it when I'm 30. I, th I don't think that you can escape no. The dangers of the constant scrutiny and the fact that you're exposed to all sorts of unsavoury types, as you are in lots of other businesses. But yeah, um, yeah FEMA, uh, you know, your body and, and your vanity and and all of all of the things that are tied up in that, they're, they're vulnerable points. Totally. And if, if that's what you're being judged on on a daily basis, then you've got to be really prepared to. You've yeah. Got to, and you, I mean, ultimately, you've just got to have other stuff going on. So.